Right, what is going on, you flipping beautiful people? We are here in a bedar. And I'm going to show you the best possible bedar build that you can get in this game. Let's put some ragu on. We can see no, no mats there. We've got Ottoman and we've got the demon. I wonder what actual he is using. What armor is that, no mac? I don't, I don't even know what armor he's using right now. Armor looks pretty insane, though. Not going to lie. Right, let's take it on. Come on in. Let's go. Talk about flooding. That was quick. Tell you what, this water's a little bit choppy. We want to be using that as much as possible, though, to make sure we get that flooding effect down to the bare minimum. We got him. So there we go. There is the Bedar against Nomax Brigantine. So we've taken him down. I will be showing you this build. I need to find out what armor Nomax got on on his Flood Brig. It's pretty flipping good. It's a shame I couldn't actually do my crew attack. And let's set sail again. We are now repaired. And we're good to go again. Let's see if we can get anyone else to go against us. Oh, he's in his Bedar. So it's going to be Bedar against better I'm believing which should be a pretty good fight not gonna lie not too sure if the demon wants to go it though I need to get better with my ramen though Oh, crap. Survival mode, holy.
Got him. Oh, please tell me I got him. No, the water. No! behind one of these waves I need to get that electric status off me Try and take away the sails. Yes. How did he not take any damage? Please wait for you all! 
一把干。We got him, we got him, we got him. What an intense fight that was. That fight was absolutely insane. Yeah, his bed our build is absolutely insane as well. <sighs> we had to play so wormy then. We had to get away from the fight. We had to get back into the fight. That was a flipping, flipping tough fight. I need to go and dock because I need to uh, get some repair kits. I am running on the low side there, and uh, that was pretty, pretty darn tough. By the way, shout out to Decaf75, Obno, Chi, Ooze, and Feta Cheese 1002. You were the last three, three people to follow me over on Twitch. If you follow me on Twitch or subscribe to me on YouTube, I'll make sure I give you a shout out. Link is in the description down below. First, let's start with the weapons. So as you've probably seen, the front weapons are the Picari Freaks. The sides are the Divine Funders. And the rear is the Crouching Tiger. So the, uh, the Picari Freeze, what it's got is it's basically got a Toxic Perk, which hits from this weapon, Saps Crew Stamina, adds 20% damage that cannot be blocked uh, by Bracing. Then we've got the Divine Thunder, uh, which hits to a target's weak point, have 35% chance to summon a Devastating Lightning Strike that deals 3,000 electrical damage. Uh, and obviously it's got electric and piercing. And then the Crouching Tiger has Taunting, which hitting a target instantly confers a Taunted Status Effect. Now, why was I trying to um, ram him? Well, if we go to ships, and we look, obviously we can see the perk, the Lancer increases damage from ramming by 25% and gains additional speed while pursuing an enemy ship within 300 meters, applies the flooding status effect to an enemy ship upon ramming, and increases its reload time by 30% for 30 seconds. Then it's got Jousting, increases damage from ramming based on the current speed, caps at 150%, ramming a target, reduces armor by 300 for free, 30 seconds, 30 wait, armor by 300 for 30% seconds. I have no clue um, what that, that, that typing is. Um, and then we've got the heavy arsenal as well, which is there. Then uh, if I go to the armor, the armor that we've got on is the Black Prince just for the extra sustainability. We've got resolute, reduced damage taken by 40% when whole health is less than 33%. Uh, and then for the furniture, I have got the war drum. So while trimming reduces crew stamina depletion by 50% and increases armor rating by 200. I've got company spirit lockers, reduces crew stamina depletion at the start of bracing by 20%, while slowed by flooding, torn sails or other status effects, increases brace strength by 15%, increases armor rating of uh, equipped armor by 7%. I've then got the first mate's ledger, which restores 15% of severe damage after hitting a target with a crew attack, increases crew stamina recovery by 10% for 10 seconds after each use of the crew ability, and increases crew ability um, range. We've got Nichols Laboratory. Uh, which increases area of effect of the mortar by 5%, which obviously means that Crouching Tiger's got a higher chance of hitting, and increases armor rating of equipped armor by 5%. It's obviously got more damage to structures as well, but we're not doing that. And then we've got the Brace Gun Whales, reduces incoming secondary damage by 50% while anchored, and increases deceleration by 75% while dropping anchor. Then, last but not least, we've got the Beam Support, so increases max hull health by 7%, increases armor rating of equipped armor by 7%. That is the Bedar build. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Right, let's go again. Okay, we managed to beat him pretty quickly then. Um, but we managed to get behind him. Why is this ship even shooting me? This is really annoying. 
It's just third party in. Bugger off. So it makes a big difference when you get a ram and you do a couple of weak spot hits. Okay, we're going again. Got him. We got him again. We got him again, baby. 